We all have movie scenes we love. Some of the most iconic ones in history are engraved into our brains. But do you know the stories behind them? Today, we'll be diving into some of our favorites. Welcome to Behind the Movies. So, everyone knows the cue card scene in Love Actually. Holding up the cards, confessing his love. Romantic, right? But it wasn't always that way. In the original, he was supposed to confess his love with paper and cut out magazine letters. So then, he was not only confessing his love, he was confessing the truth. The test audience didn't enjoy it though, and we ended up having to scrap the idea. And then we came up with the cue card thing instead. I still wonder what would have happened if he'd gotten his hands on her. Working on Fifty Fruits Dates was a really cool experience, but working with Drew Barrymore was a bit of a challenge. Um, she, she just couldn't remember any of her lines. Like, either she was just really good at playing this character, or she legitimately went and got into a car accident just so she would get amnesia. We would have to convince her every day, like, you were working with Adam Sandler. She was convinced that it was Will Ferrell. We were just at a loss. This movie was supposed to come out in 2003, but because of her, we had, to, we had to end up having to do a whole extra year of shooting. Casablanca, one of the great classics. When you think of Casablanca, you automatically think of the famous line, of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, she walks into mine. Rick was supposed to be a cheesemonger, and uh, the now famous line was more along the lines of, of all the fromageries and all the towns and all the world, she walks into mine. I love cheese. I, mean, I, I think that's better. Obviously, it didn't make it into the final cut, but I was one of the ones that voted to keep it in. Looking back on my time working on Jurassic Park with Spielberg, I have less than fond memories of it. There, you know that scene where they're eating jello in the kitchen and the jello starts shaking? You know, you know that scene? We had to make so much jello that day. And it wasn't even because the scene called for all the jello. Steven Spielberg kept eating it. We like it took we made like seven batches before we figured out it was him. I am just so sick of that man. That man is why I am not in the film industry today. I, I hate him, I hate his guts, I hope he dies. I'm so sick of that guy. Do you know someone who's been on a movie? Have you been on a movie? If so, send us an email at theinsidescoop at behindthemovies.org and you could have a chance to be on our next episode. We'll see you next time.